So we're in the Jakensberg, more specifically we're actually in the northern Jakensberg at a place called Royal Natal National Park. We got here quite late last night um, so to set up in the dark, uh, but this is one of our favorite spots in South Africa. It's actually where I proposed to Toya about 11 years ago. Um, and there's really, really great fishing. I just found actually, shame, looks like it's a little dead dormouse. Yeah. Ooh, guts are coming out. Okay. So that's unexpected. Take two. Yeah, so we're here for four nights and we hope you enjoy this leg of our three week trip around South Africa. Cheers. This is one of our favorite little spots. Whenever we come here, there's this little little picnic spot here. See there, a beautiful patch of green grass. And then it comes down to this stretch of river here. And we just come here with a cooler box and some drinks. Swim in this river. I've actually caught some trout in this river once, which the ranger told me afterwards that someone had put it in the river because they don't naturally exist in here. There's a beautiful big pool down there and you can actually jump off this rock and have a good swim in there. Good goof. It's pretty kiff. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, cheers. Mm. Yeah, that's good. So most summer holidays in South Africa Generally, your families choose between going to the beach, uh, the berg, or the bush, um, and uh, each of them have their own merits. And what we're doing this December is we're going to all three. So we're here in the Drakensberg for um, uh, four nights. Then we go down to Cozy Bay, spend a few nights there, um, and then we're going through to Kruger, and we spend a week at Kruger. So we're going to get to see. All three of the main attractions uh, of this country of the holiday period and decide for ourselves which one is the best. Ah. It's cold. It's the genitals, it's always the worst part. Ah. Ooh. Done. The perfect rock to sit on. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, that's great. back to camp now we've had a really nice day swimming in the river chilling out by the dam looking at the birds cool little beavers making a nest but we've got looks to be a sizable storm coming in now so we're just gonna head back to our camp and have a couple of drinks and chill
good morning it's um saturday morning it's about 6 a.m we are pretty much the only people here in the campsite i mean in the parking lot because we're going to hike to gela gorge which is a, in my opinion one of the best day hikes in the country um it's a long hike about six or eight kilometers each way the hike goes up all the way to the base of the Tegela Falls at the bottom of the amphitheater um, so you can look up from the bottom up the cliff face the cliff face is about, it's about 800 or 1000 meters high actually Tegela Falls is the second highest waterfall in the world after Angel Falls anyway this is if I can try and get in the shot it's a view of the amphitheater there. How's your hike going so far? Good. Just um, quite warm. How many k's left to go? I don't know, don't think like that. <laughs> I'm just counting the minutes until we get to that pool at the end of the long hole. I think we've got ourselves. I think it's a berg adder. It's some type of adder. It's in the path here. It's not particularly big. Just always watch where you put your feet in these pods because they the snakes like to come out and bask in the sun on a rock or in the open path. But if that is a berg adder, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's not particularly dangerous. That's quite amazing. You go from open grassland and then in the ravines and the valleys, you get this. the very wall when you're on the Benjamin is it a Benjamin? a Rufus what they call it? oh well get him to the Greek watch that movie <laughs> don't know if I drink it I mean it's fresh but I don't know if a baboon is taking the crap whatever <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, the clouds are starting to come over now, but you can still see the top of the cliff. So it's quite important that if you do this hike in summer, make sure you leave quite early because it does tend to cloud up quite early and then you're going to miss the view. Listen, if you're going to do it when it's uh, cloudy, it's still going to be spectacular, but it's just really cool to be able to see the escarpment. And this is what a few hours hike is worth. Look at that. And that view. It's amazing. I think it's a stupid idea. Okay, one, two. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Still to come in this series where we explore the best that South Africa has to offer, the berg, the beach or the bush. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications in the next video. Cheers. Kruger. <laughs> this is absolutely majestic. 